Hello everyone, my name is Elisere. I'm a PhD student in Urban and Regional Development at Politecnico di Torino. In this brief video, I will be presenting my PhD research. Assessing the vulnerability of coastal communities to climate-related hazards has been identified as a key aspect of climate change adaptation. Due to its frequency and damage potential, coastal flooding is considered as the most relevant climate change-related hazard for coastal communities. Coastal flooding can be driven by different processes such as slow onset global mean sea level rise due to terrestrial ice melting at warmer temperatures or rapid onset extreme sea levels brought along by wind waves and storm surge. The Mediterranean Basin has been identified by the IPCC as one of the most vulnerable areas to climate change. Because of a combination of local characteristics pertaining to geomorphology, climate and population density, the Italian region Liguria is an interesting candidate for a case study. This PhD research so far has dealt with the development of an assessment of the exposure component of vulnerability to coastal floods for this region. We also wanted to take this chance to understand what are the most relevant physical processes determining coastal flood hazards in this specific context and to understand how those processes interact with the local environment. The framework of choice for this case study has been the Invest Coastal Vulnerability Model. The model takes into account geospatial information on relevant biogeophysical characteristics in the area and it outputs a map of a coastal vulnerability index that is widely used in literature. In our case study, we were particularly interested in understanding whether this type of model was suitable to analyse the impact of different underlying climate patterns in determining local flood hazard. For this reason, we used the ECMWF05 reanalysis data on wind speed and derived wave power to create climate scenarios and compare the model outputs. By applying this model to our area of interest in Liguria, we were able to obtain a preliminary exposure map for this large stretch of coastline, but most importantly, to highlight the potential and limitations of this approach when it comes to our research objectives. In the next phases of our research, we will focus on overcoming some of those limitations. Notably, we would like to obtain outputs in the form of a projected flooded area extent that could be validated against real-life data. And since the model used so far has shown to have little to no sensitivity at all to variations in climate data inputs, we plan on adopting an approach that could better highlight the link between climate drivers and flood hazard. Techniques in the field of machine learning are likely candidates for use in the next phases of the research. These types of approach are currently being used to create flood susceptibility maps based on local flood triggering factors. Thank you.